Hello artists for and this assignment is called using the color picker. What we're going to do is learn about the color picker and how to make colors that look really good that match the colors that are in something that you're going to reproduce. What we need to do is upload a photo and to upload a photo I'm going to use this little icon and I'm going to choose this basket of fruit. And I'm going to kind of put it up as high as I can put it in my corner because I need some space to write. And then click done. Notice that this layer is highlighted in blue and there's an empty layer below it. I want to put that on the bottom. So I put my finger on it or my stylus and it kind of expands and then I'm going to slide it down and the other one slides up and I'm going to let it go. I want to lock this layer. Um, there's that little, there's a little lock right there. Um, if I touch it, it will lock and then I can't do anything in that layer. If I try to draw it won't let me draw in that layer. So I'm going to unlock this layer and I'm going to make sure that my layer with my fruit basket in it is locked because I don't want to mess up that that layer. So if I unlock it and I erase, I've just erased my photo or my drawing or whatever it is that I don't want messed up. So I'm going to lock that layer so I can't do anything to it. And I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to make a little chart just to make my chart. And in my chart, I'm going to hide those menus so I can draw. It wouldn't let me draw because I was in the wrong layer. So make sure you're highlighting the, la you know, your, the layer that you want to draw in is highlighted. Okay, that's a good size line. So I'm going to get my menus out of the way. I want four rows that I can write. And there's a ruler to tool that you can use if you want to get really straight lines and that might be helpful for this so I can kind of get even rows. So remember if you want a grid, if you want five rows, I can turn it this way. Oops a little bit of room to color a color and write a couple of things. Click it again to turn it off. In this one, I'm gonna put a description of the item and color one, color two, three, and color four. So I'm gonna choose a strawberry first. Then I'm going to choose the orange and the basket and I have four items. Now, I don't want to use that marker anymore because in your next thing you won't be able to use a marker. I'm going to add a layer by pressing the plus because I don't want to mess up my, my chart. Um, let's see, this tool is the watercolor brush, or I can use, in our last assignment, we used pencils or painting tools. Let's see, bleeding watercolor, oops, that's a chalk pastel, I can't use that. Smudge, no, I can't use that. I could use a regular pencil, I could use a paint, with a regular paintbrush, let's try that. So, on my strawberry, um, if I go to my hockey puck that shows me what tool I'm using, how big the tool is, that's what that number is, and what color I'm using. So I'm going to go up here to that little dropper. I'm going to click on the dropper. It gives me this little crosshair. And I'm going to go to my one of my strawberries, and I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick the lightest color I can find on the strawberry. That looks like it's pretty good. I'm going to paint a small sample. 
I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to make it a little smaller, and I'm going to paint it on the strawberry. I'm going to enlarge a little bit. Okay, what I'm comparing it to is those little highlights that are around the seeds, because that's where that color came from. Does that look like a pretty good match? Actually, it could be. I put another little dot up here where those, you know, there are some darker highlights. Like maybe right, oops. I'm, actually, I'm pointing, so like right in there somewhere. Um, it's probably pretty close but it's too dark to be that that white highlight and what we'll see whites are never white um but that color on that color there really kind of stands out so um maybe two four will be too many it looks a little dark to me so i'm gonna enlarge again so i'm gonna take my color picker. I'm going to lighten. I'm going to go up towards the top, which is going to lighten it a little bit. And I'm going to put another little dot next to there. A little bit closer. I still, I think that's a little bit dark still. Okay, that color that I just, you know, that I just made, that looks a little better looks closer to those highlight colors. I'm going to cross out the old one and I'm going to keep that new one. Now I'm going to, I want you to use the HSL color picker, hue, saturation, and lightness. We learned about hue and saturation and lightness. That's the same as value. So I'm going to write these numbers down. It's hue 344. Oops. So we can 344, 49, it's saturation level 49. So it's half, about half as dark as it could be. And it's lightness 80. Now I can go back and I can get that color again. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pick a new color on my strawberry do the same strawberry. I'm gonna add that red. Oops. To paint, I'm gonna make my little, my brush a little bit bigger. But to compare my color, it was about over here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks like an accurate color because those little dots I put on there don't, um, don't show up very much. So this is color th hue 359. That's like perfect. 89, once in a while you get on, you get a color that's really super good. And darkness 42, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's not as saturated as it could be. That color could be that bright, but it's not. Okay, so now I'm gonna go pick another color. I'm gonna pick one of my shadows. And I'm gonna paint. Paint a little color. I'm gonna make my paintbrush a little smaller, and I'm gonna compare. It's about right there. I'm gonna be a little bit picky, and I'm gonna make it the tiniest bit. Color number three. That's on the orange end, and 77 saturation, and 26 lightness. So. I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Okay, so I changed it just a tiny, tiny bit. Oops, wrong one. Cross that, see, it's not, it's a little bit darker, but not a lot. So, hue number, turn my brush down. Hue number three, saturation is 80 and lightness is 23. You can't even hardly see either of those little dots on the actual picture. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose another color for my strawberry. Move it. Let's see. Is that the same? Nope, that's not the same. Okay, I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. Go color, color there. And let's go back to the picture. Okay, I think that's really good. I can hardly see. See, my dots... Well, actually, I'm going to go a little brighter with that. Color number 7, saturation 88 and 37. I'm going to go a little bit brighter. Okay, I like that color. My new color. So it's color number 7. Oops. Eighty-two. Oops. What happened there? Eighty-two and forty-three. So I can I can go back to that exact color. And let's color pick a seed. So I'm gonna that's kind of a bonus color. That's pretty good. So I'll go back down to. So that's color 25, 59, and 65. And if you look, look at the saturation. Yeah, that's an orange. Saturation is 59, and lightness is 65. So I can go back and find that color any, any time. Okay, so I want you to, I want you to find four colors on four items and dot it on there and compare. Don't do a big, huge dot, do small dots. So I'm gonna pick the lightest spot I can find on my orange. And I'm gonna, Color it on there. Enlarge your orange. Put some next to those highlights. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to write down the number. 30, 87, 77. When you're done, done with your chart, um, then you're going to save it. Save current sketch. Share, save image, and upload it to using the color picker. For this assignment, I'm, I want you to focus and really look at the colors when you dot them on the object to see if that's a really good color for that object. It's gonna, doing this is going to help you when you're doing your final assignment, which is coming up very soon for this. So, um, good luck. Let me know if you need help, but I want you to try first. Thanks for watching.